This is a Bristol Scout Type C and the best Bristol Scout pilot of all time was a chap called Geoffrey Day in the Royal Naval Air Service. He spent most of the war uh, doing experimental flying, uh, trying to develop new ways of, of taking the war to the enemy. Um, but he was noted for his uh, very precision aerobatics and there's a famous sequence of photographs, air-to-air -air photographs taken of him doing aerobatics in a Bristol Scout. He was unfortunately killed in February 1918 uh, in action, um, but he was also a, a very, very talented poet. Uh, nothing was published in his lifetime, but a friend of his collected all his writings together and published them after the war, and that's, that's how we know them. Uh, there are lots of good ones. Um, my favourite is probably uh, the perfect description of flying a, a rotary-engined open cockpit biplane. It's called On the Wings of the Morning by Geoffrey Game Day. A sudden roar, a mighty rushing sound, a jolt or two, a smoothly sliding rise, a tumble blur of disappearing ground, and then all sense of motion slowly dies. Quiet and calm, the earth slips past below as underneath a bridge still waters flow. My turning wing inclines towards the ground. The ground itself glides up with graceful swing and at my plane's far tip twirls slowly round, then disappears from sight beneath the wing to slip away serenely as before, a cubist pattern carpet on the floor. Hills gently sink and valleys gently fill. The flattened fields look infinitely small. Slowly they pass below and slower till until they hardly seem to move at all. Then suddenly they disappear from sight, hidden by fleeting wisps of faded white. My wingtips, faint and dripping, dimly show blurred by the passing mists that intervene. Weird half-seen shadows flicker to and fro, seen on the pallid fog bank's blinding screen. At last the clinging mists release their hold, and all the world is silver, blue and gold. The air is clear, more clear than sparkling wide, compared to this wine is a turgid brew. The far horizon makes a clear-cut line between the silver and the depthless blue. And from the snow-white levels, raised on high, glittering hills surge up to meet the sky. Outside my windscreen's shelter, gales may race, but in the seat, a soft and gentle breeze blows steady on my grateful face as I sit, motionless and at my ease, contented just to loiter in the sun and gaze about me till the day is done. And so I sit half sleeping, half awake, dreaming a happy dream of golden days, until at last, with a reluctant shake, I rouse myself and with a lingering gaze at all the pleasures of the shining plain make ready to come down again. The engine stops. A pleasant silence reigns, silence not broken, but intensified by the soft, sweet wires, insistent strains that rise and fall as with a sweeping glide I slither down the well-oiled sides of space towards a lower, less enchanted place. The clouds draw nearer, changing as they come. Now in a flash, fog has me by the throat. Down goes the nose. At once the wire's low hum begins to rise in volume and in note, and as I hurtle from the choking cloud becomes a scream, high-pitched and loud. The scattered hues and shadows, green and brown, fashion themselves into the world I know, turning and twisting as I spiral down towards the landing field. Then, skimming low, I glide with slackening speed across the ground and come to rest with gently grating sound. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified when we release new videos, but if you want the best we've got to offer then support us by subscribing to our full streaming channel at historicalmachines.tv. There's lots of great footage on the advertfree.tv channel that's not published elsewhere, so visit the website today and sign up for a free 7-day trial subscription.